All right. Shalom. Call Hello Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, this video is just going to be and I was like an exhortation, just giving, just give you I came out there some words of encouragement and comfort, just in case you might be going through this. Uh, I, guess, I think I guess I'll entitle it. Uh, so my wife wants to leave me. Okay, so uh, this I'm just kind of gonna go into just some, you know, just some things that you probably experience in your walk in this truth because once again you have to remember that when you eat the whole roll meaning when you get into this truth fully wholeheartedly um it's sweet and it's bitter it's a bitter sweet ordeal uh, you got parts of it that's sweet that sounds good that that's that's good nourishment then you got the bitter parts that that you have to go through and have to stomach so you know uh when you're first coming in this thing you know you finding out who you are that things are not right uh, you're walking you know it, it's a whole it's a different type of walk in which you're 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 choosing to walk uh you're choosing to walk a righteous walk which that walk is actually contrary to what the world is about <clears throat> and the thing, the thing is, is your wife may not fully understand what this walk is totally about, and and what not not just your wife, it is your it's your family included. You know your parents, you know your mother, father, brothers, sisters, cousins, whatever, just your family, because in this walk. Um, when you when you enter and get into this truth wholeheartedly, um, it becomes your main priority. Like you you you're watching news on a daily basis. You're watching videos, listening to brothers. You're reading. Uh, you you pretty much your time is so much consumed with that outside of work that it's hard it's hard to even balance. You know, just doing other things. You know, outside of work because. You're, what you in, what you end up do, enjoy doing because I can tell you for me, I enjoy watching other brothers' videos. I enjoy going into the scriptures. I enjoy reading. That's what gets me excited. That's what pushes me forward. Uh, your faith in the Most High Power Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai shall be your driving force. It should be what drives you, and especially with the way things are happening the way these prophecies are taking place and being pushed out into the earth i mean you can clearly see man it's 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 so much going on that you, it's it's hard to even really focus on anything else but there are times when you do have to you know take a rest and you know like literally just rest and i'm not saying like stop doing videos stop going out preaching and teaching nothing like that but I mean, like, literally just, just rest and let your let your mind, let your spirit rejuvenate because you are consuming so much. And also, you know, your focus is, is a, lot, a lot of stuff that we, you know, we, we look at and, and be consumed in is, is negativity. And, and that, that can really weigh on a, on a relationship or, you know, in, within, within your marriages or, you know, or with your families or whatever, you know. Because, you know, you, especially your wife can be like, all you do is watch stuff, you know, watch negative stuff that's going on in the world. Don't know if I don't hear that all the time. I don't want to live in that space. You know, they'll, they'll say all kind of things. But you got to remember, this is your driving force. Um, you know, uh, they, they might even ask you your opinion on something and you'll come out, get ready to come out the scriptures and and they'll be like, well, I don't want to hear what this book says. I want to hear what you says. But they're not understanding that this word is in you. You have eaten this roll. So what's going to come out is what you've eaten. So, you know, that's 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 what's in your spirit. So you're going to speak according to this word. And so my opinion, like, for instance, me, my opinion is what the scripture says. 
that that just me you know but uh i i done done a lot of rambling just uh you know hoping to help 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 another brother who might be going through this and going through that uh i want to get a few scriptures too uh this is hebrews chapter 6 starting at verse 10 it says for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed toward his name and in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister now i, I want to go into that labor of love because whether your family or your wife or whatever whether they realize it or not the greatest love that you can give them is getting into this word getting into this truth because you know we we don't know we don't know who's of the elect, who's not of the elect. You know, we we hope that we are of the elect. That's why we call it the hopeful elect. But um, the Most High might even spare your family based on your labor. You know, that that's a possibility. You know, and that's you know we hope for that. But also, brothers, you have to understand too that if He doesn't spare your family, you know your close ones. Hey, it is what it is. You know, it's his plan. He has, it's, a, it's his will, not our will. Let not let not my will be done, but let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And that, that's where we're supposed to be at. Um, so, um, but I want to show uh, the greatest love that you can give them is... Like what Yahweh said, that you lay down your life for your friend. This is uh, John chapter 15, verse 13. It says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And what are we doing? We're literally making our bodies a living sacrifice. You know, you, you're on the front lines, you know, you you, you, you've given up all those things of this world because you're, you know, you're hoping, you know, our faith is in Yahweh Shem Yahweh for a better life than this. And, and also, to be honest with you, if you believe that this is living, you know, something wrong with you. If you think that this is how we supposed to be living. If you, if you believe that sitting here paying bills, uh, being in debt all the time, worrying about paying rent, buying a house, you know, paying off a car, making sure your car is, you know, is good to go, be able to get to it from work, you know, for sure it don't break down, all that kind of stuff. If you believe that that's living, uh, something wrong there. Uh, I want to get uh, Matthew what's this chapter 16 uh, starting at verse 25 it says for whosoever will save his life shall lose it and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul so, if you're looking for a better life in, in this world, you're going to lose. You know, it's not designed for you to win on this side. You are going to lose. And a lot of times in this walk and this truth, especially for, you know, for your wife, it th things are going to become grievous. They're going to get tired of, you know, you're, 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 you're constantly in the scriptures. You know, if you're not at work. You're watching videos, you're in the scriptures, you're reading, you're not giving them enough attention, all that stuff. I mean, that's that, that's a part of the walk and, and, you know, and the spirit will come on them to want to, you know, to want to, uh, to want to amp up, bug out on you, you know, curse you out, you know, create strife in the household. So now you got to deal with that. Then dealing with Esau on a daily basis, dealing with these jobs on a daily basis dealing with the children you know it's it's it's, it's a vexing art it's a vexing thing and that, that's part of that uh 
that's part of that bitter part of the role too you know um also you know within that eating the whole role you know you find out that the way things are are not the way things supposed to be so you know the, the more with with much wisdom comes much grief you know the more you know the more bit you know the more vexed you are you're vexed on a daily basis you know it's it takes a man to really to really deal in this truth and continue in it you know you you got to be able to put your hand to that plow and not look back because ultimately you got to have it in your mind that there is nothing here this is not for you you know this is not our risk arise you in the park this is not your risk for it is really polluted you know um uh, um uh, you you know your your wife may even come and say oh you don't take me out on no dates you know you don't do this and you don't do that you're always with the brothers you're always talking on the phone with them you're always reading you're always watching videos yeah you know that's that, that's a part of it you know but uh and like I say, if she if she willing to to rock with you, you know, if this, if this not your situation, you know, that's great. You know, that's some some one less thing you might have to worry about. But if it is your situation, you know, the greatest thing you could do is work is turn wholeheartedly to this truth and, and keep it going and turn, you know, give it all over to the most high power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I want to get John chapter 12, verse 25 says, He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. You know, uh, because, you know, we, we hate our lives in this world. And it, is, and, and it don't mean going around, oh, I hate this. I hate that. I hate this. I hate. No, it's not that. It's, it's you, you've given up. The things of this world. You, you understand that the things in which Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah has for you is greater than anything Esau can offer you on this side. And and that includes jobs, so-called, you, you know, you might be thinking about careers, businesses, all that stuff. There ain't nothing Esau can give you that's greater than what the Most High can give you, you know continue with this labor of love uh, just just want to go into a few more things you know your, your wife may not understand what, what makes you tick what drives you you know because this truth becomes your literal driving force in the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh so it's you, you don't care for the other things it's you know uh, I, I, I just tell you from personal experience I've been uh called emotionally unavailable simply because i don't care about the things of the world I, I really don't you know if it's not about this truth it is what it is it's not important you know and and i you know that that that, that may be something i you know that's that just me you know <laughs> but i've always been that type of person but one thing you have to remember is this too that if you forsake all, leave, leave all that, you know, your your labor of love is not going in vain. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 27 says, then Peter, then Salakia, uh, then answer Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? And if you remember when, when Peter was, uh, when Yahweh came to Peter, and he, he was fishing and he said, and he literally said that they dropped their nets and straightway followed him. You know, he, he, forsake, he forsook it. You know, he left it all. And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for what, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, 
and shall inherit everlasting life. So uh, we, you know, the reward is greater than anything Esau can give you on this side. You know, we have to just continue to the, continue in the faith. When we put our hand into this plow, don't look back. Because if you remember Lot's wife, uh, Lot, his wife and his daughters were, were uh, gotten out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, you know. But his wife looked back. She was probably wondering, you know, felt sorry for whomever she may have known or thinking about something she left or, you know, just anything, you know. Don't look back. Don't look back. So, honestly, if your wife wants to leave, uh, <laughs> I mean, you, you can't make her stay. You know, if, if she's in just just wants, just is burning in her to leave, you you have to let her go. Especially if it's if it begins to hinder you from this word, hinder you from your walk, hinder you in this truth. You know, you you start you start being a little depressed and and uh. You know, you, you kind of don't want to go to camp or you're not making, you know, not making as many videos or, you know, you just just down all the time. You know, just uh, like I said, if she just wants to leave so bad, you have to just let her go. You know, it's, it, 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 I'm not saying it's not going to hurt because once again, uh, just, just speaking, just speaking real, just being real. Uh, if, if you got a woman, you know, you, you do, you do, uh, appreciate your woman. You do, you know, you do love her. You do care for her. But if, if she doesn't want to, you know, she doesn't want to no longer deal with you or anything like that. Uh, if they, I mean, you know, the most I just drove that wedge in between y'all. You just have to let it go, you know. Uh, and as a matter of fact, you know, you, he may be putting you in a situation where he'll bring you to bring you a better wife, you know, a better woman that'll be that'll deal with you, you know. But um, I, I like I said, I just said all that to say, you know, um, don't be discouraged, you know, because those things do happen, you know. They do, you know. Sometimes you, you, you women or you, they will do get, they will get discouraged and. You know, Bill get tired of being bogged down and stuck in his truth, you know, feeling like they can't enjoy the things of the world. Uh, you know, you, you're not doing holidays, you're not doing different things, you know, just, you know, just whatever. But don't be discouraged about it. You know, you pray. I always, you know, you pray to the most high, you how about you, how shy, you know, talk to him about it, you know, and, and let it go. But you make sure you continue in this faith because once again, the greatest love in which you can give her is this truth. That's the greatest thing you can give her. That's your labor of love to, to the most high, ultimately. Um, hope, hope who you were edified. Um, shalom.